Oh yeah! What's up everybody? Welcome to youtube.com slash modigity42 and we're gonna go ahead and talk about Borderlands 3 today. So go ahead, take a seat. And if you're not here, if you're not watching my video, well then to hell with you. Joining me right now is Kurai underscore Dragonel. Hey, what's going on, Kurai? What's no. going on, Mr. Bodegade? <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. That's enough shenanigans from me. We're gonna go ahead, go away. Steam notification telling me that Bay Area is playing Dota 2. I'm, you're, you're like blocking my my fucking VLC media player. So okay. Like... Uh, oh sweet. So, all right. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, let me go ahead and tell you right now we're uh, talking all things Borderlands Three. So, uh, Kurai, what do you? What have you? Uh, you, you've watched the uh, the teaser trailer for Borderlands Three, correct? That is correct, Amando. All right. So, as soon as you watched it, what'd you think? I was just like very excited about the big one as what they call it to finally be announced after so long <clears throat> they haven't announced the big one since like two three years yeah two three years and that was like before that was like after the whole borderlands online situation got cancelled out because i think it was just one of those projects that wasn't really going well so they had to shut that down all right and then i found out you know borderlands free the big one oh, that's yeah. coming back Oh Holy yeah! Shit. I, I've been really, I've been really jazzed. Uh, I've, I love this game series, and uh, I'm looking forward. I've never played number one yet, but I'm looking forward to actually playing number one. And after I play Borderlands two, of course, because uh, qu fun mo fact, I have never beaten Borderlands two. I just haven't had the time, or every time I start playing it, it's uh, it gets a little fucking nutty. And uh, blah, blah, blah. But I haven't really played that one yet. But uh, how, how would you rate number one, Kurai? Number one is, I'd definitely say it's it's one of the great ones. But it's, I'd say it's about seven, seven out of ten. Seven out of ten, you think? The Borderlands, yeah. But Borderlands 2 um, learned from, you know, what they did for Borderlands 1. Yeah. Um, they learned from, you know, what they did from Borderlands once, so they, you know, that was much better, and there's more guns and stuff. Yeah. There's a lot of things, but I do would like to say a few things about Borderlands 1 that is better than Borderlands 2, like the um, efficiency upgrading, uh, like, say, if you if you got so many kills with an assault rifle, you gain, like, a special, like, so you start off with, like, level 1 yeah. special like, assault rifle skills, you can level that up all the way to... I guess infinite amount of levels and you can keep mastering the weapons of assault rifles to the point they get better. So it's like legendary ranks for the guns. And that's where the legendary legend, um, dairy vault hunter rank comes in for, uh, for the buffs that you get, like you get maximum health, gun damage, um, elemental damage, reload speed and all that stuff. That's where they got the implementation from, except no. when Borderlands two, they made it so you get to pick your own reward of what you want. And I really enjoy and, that too. Yeah. So like I'd have to say Borderlands one, it still has its good it still has its merits. It has the it also has a unique um weapons, which were the alien guns that you could not get in Borderlands two. And there was just there was just some nice things about the characters as well. There, there was the characters I'd be going back to as well. You got Lilith, Roland, um, Brick, and I can't remember the sniper dude. Hmm. Well, they, I can't remember uh, the yeah, the, the sniper's uh, been a point of contention, uh, contention in Borderlands Two for a while. Uh, not ever having played Borderlands One, I'll just take your word for it. Um, all right, so let's see. Right now, the first article I want to go ahead and read off, and we'll discuss is the. Uh, uh, Borderlands 3 won't have co-op players fighting over loot. Now, immediately by the headline, I, I love the shit out of that because that means no one's going to ninja my shit. And uh, I don't know if I've ever even had that problem in Borderlands 2, but then again, I uh, it's been a little bit since I've even played that game. 
but uh, it seems like they're already going to refine how the loot system works and let's go ahead and, and dive up and dive all into that shite all right <clears throat> we still don't have a ton of hard details about borderlands 3 but one new piece of info that came alongside its release date reveal was a pretty significant change to the way loot drops were playing, or the, the way the loot drops while playing co-op. In Borderlands 3, every player will have their own loot drops that they can see and uh, post on the PlayStation blog revealed. Traditionally, everyone can every, traditionally everyone can see all the loot in Borderlands, meaning other players could na nab a tasty-looking gun for you from you before you had a chance to pick it up. But that will be a thing of the past. Whoosh. Are you looking that up on stream? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's so that's what I'm reading right now. Oh right, on. Oh. Let me. Uh... Do you mind if I put your like like straight? Do you mind if I like capture your stream? No, go go right ahead. In fact, I'll do you guys a solid. I'll go ahead and post all the links uh, to all the stuff I'm discussing in the Twitch channel, uh, Twitch channel chats, as per Twitch usual. By the way, uh, that dude grade kind of a dick. <laughs> Yeah, it, it can be a little bit, to be honest. Oh, Apex, no offense, but I don't care about that. Well, oh, uh, anyway, we're not dealing with that. Anyway, <clears throat> sorry, that, that that's really irks me. Like, dude, keep your opinions to yourself, you know? I mean, come on. Like, you could just talk, you know, I don't like Minecraft, but I have a lot of friends who play Minecraft, and they stream it, and I'll take the opportunity to freaking talk to them. I don't even really like Seven Days to Die that much, but I'll play it and even watch it when my other buddy Proteus is playing it. Anyway, I'm sorry. I got off a, a track. That ch I got twiggered. <laughs> uh, all right. Now loot is player-specific, meaning oh, you only see the loot you can take, and other players will see an entirely different groups of guns than you do. It's unclear how that will work with things like chests. Pre presumably, they'll have unique contents waiting to be taken for every player. It's just lines of code, man. Come on, dude. IGN, Jesus. It's unclear how that will work with things like chests. Uh, go ask fucking Blizzard, okay? Come Wait, on. Which part are you at? Wait, where is it? Oh, um, I'm underneath the Borderlands 3 official announced trailer. Ah, okay. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, come on. Like... IGN, you should know damn full and well. Like that, that's another big criticism I have of quote unquote gaming journalism, is uh, they 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 make it for everybody that who, so no one will be lost and left behind, and they can it, it, they they sort of type it out in easy to understand language, and like dude, the most people who read this are, are like gamers, and like. You know, it doesn't take. I, I'm I'm not like the smartest person in the world, but even I know that it's just code. You know, and it's it's easy to just say that, but it's unclear how things will work with things like chess. I mean, come on. Anyway, oh, yeah. sorry. I I'm in a. I guess I'm in already in a bitchy mood because of that dude. Uh, but presumably they'll have unique contents waiting to be taken for every single player. Excitingly, if this all sounds like a drawback instead of an improvement to you. You'll still be able to switch back to the original co-op loot drop settings of Borderlands 2 as if nothing happened. Oh, God, I just want my game to be good. You, <laughs> you know, you know, folks, and I, I have to say this, it's, it's little things like this that you start to figure out why the company, the dev studio, has problems, the problems it has, because they waste their time on little shit like this. I, for fuck's sake, make players adapt to your game. You know, it's like the one big criticism of Castlevania 2 that I fucking hate. You can't see when those blocks are invisible. That's why you, one, have your holy water equipped. You should be, like, throwing holy water on everything because if the holy water goes through those bricks, you know not to jump on those bricks. And two, watch the enemy uh, movement patterns. If they're not coming to you, that means that's a, a you know, it's... It's a hidden brick, or they're invisible bricks. They're fake bricks. You know, you gotta, you gotta adapt. And this language, it makes it sort of sound like you're not adapting. You're just lowering your standards. But anyway, blah 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 blah. The blog posts also detail some of the changes coming to the loot, specifically with new additions for every each gun manufacturer. It explains Atlas now offers guns that fire track tracer tracks and smart bullets. Doll weapons feature alternate fire modes, and the 
Maliwan, Maliwan range now incorporates firearms that can toggle between two elementals, deal guaranteed elemental damage. Sexy. I like that. <clears throat> that's that sounds a lot better. Like I like that. Yeah, that that's, sounds that's good. That's nice. That's I, I like that. That's a good improvement. All right, Borderlands Three release date reveal screenshots. Oh, I can't. Uh, oh, all right. There we go. There we go. That's a nice looking shot of Claptrap there next to a. Uh, a propaganda Next poster, poster or something, you know, and some skulls, you know, as a robot would do. Oh, those are the uh, bad guys. Yeah, those are the two bad guys. Oh, we got, we got up here. These oh, look yeah. like the uh, heroes, actually. The heroes of Borderlands Three. Oh yes, these ones right here. These uh, look oh, like the heroes. It looks pretty cool. Gag? Oh, is that holy gag? shit! It is, huh? That's cool. That is cool. There's, that always is cool. Got to, there's always got to be one with a pet. And that yeah, guy, it's beginning to become like the tradition off. in this game. All right, yeah, let's see. you sniper and your pet. These everything. are the two bad guys. You can see that yeah. they're bad because they got <gasps> scowls on their faces. And they look bad. They're uh, poised uh, menacingly. Uh, you can see that this one right here has a mischievous grin on its face. And... Uh, He's got a lot of red, so that that's a clear indication that he is a bad guy. And this chick right here, she's got a resting bitch face thing going on with a, uh, a holographic skull, you know, because real skulls are icky. And, uh, yeah, you, you can see that she's got a cape, and obviously bad guys all wear capes. And it looks black and, and orange. In fact, it kind of looks like a coat, actually. But still, obviously, it looks like a bad guy. Now let's go to... Can we please have his sword? Oh, that would be kind of cool. Looks huh? cool. And this is a uh, you know a, a mech shooting thingies with uh, this character. Give your flesh, take your guns. Yeah, uh, you know to quote to that to quote. All right. Please tell me that's Ooh, a mechromancer. Let's see. Ooh. Vehicles Ooh, look sexy. Oh, wow. And this immediately when I saw this tire uh, uh, vehicle right here, it made me think of uh, the Twisted Metal series. Oh, yeah. And that yes. immediately makes this my favorite uh, vehicle that I already immediately want. These other two look great, but this is the vehicle that I'm gunning for. God, they all look which, so good. Which one do you like out of all three of them? Honestly, the bike. <laughs> the bike? You like the. Where's yeah. the bike? The big wheel. Oh, the big wheel. All right, your team, big wheel then. Team, big wheel. Team, big wheel. Yeah, yeah. All right, next screenshot. All right, obviously this is a, a disposable bad guy. You can see because you can't tell who he is. And uh, he's uh, leaving himself wide open to just be shot right in the head, chest, or legs, or feet. Even in the cock region that is highlighted right here. You can see that there's a little bit of painting. It's uh, you know probably been sh from being shot in the dick so many times. Because he doesn't use his shield and shield himself. This is why you die, oh, disposable man. bad guys. This is why you die. You can see that this is the gun that's probably going to kill him here in a moment. And uh, as you can sexy. see, that's the that's the Vladov machine. That's the Vladov minigun assault rifle. It has not one minigun barrel, but two minigun barrels, and that's a big improvement from what uh, what it used to have. Because usually, the minigun there's only like one minigun barrel in any Vladov assault rifle weapon in Borderlands Two or Borderlands. So this guy has two. And that's a Vladoff gun. Nice, nice, nice. I, I like the uh, the the bullet count right here. You can see it's a little hologram. You can oh wow, they even did a little. If you see the detail right here, like if you look at my uh, mouse, like this is uh, what it's projecting right there. I think that's a cool little detail right there. And the gun looks oh yeah. Sweet. All right, and it's got the emblem of Vladoff as well. Oh, where is that at? That's next to the ammo counter. Oh, that's right the, here. That's the emblem. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. The, all right, last screenshot. Ooh, possibly more disposable bad guys or bad guy minions. Here we have a baby with the bomb that says, I, oh, you suck. You know, he's got his uh, tongue out. This is a, a Doom-looking motherfucker right here. The, oh, God, I got <laughs> I to hurry up and play Doom already. And this is a, <laughs> this is a chick with a, a cannon bigger than my penis. So I already feel have feelings of inadequacy. And uh, I want to suddenly stop the video and go cry. Uh, but no, the, the gun does look sexy, though. It looks pretty fucking good. And so does this uh, uh, Annihilator cannon that this guy has. 
I mean, this just sounds like fucking destruction right there. And I'm not too crazy about getting a bomb thrown at me by a baby. But, you know, I suppose if I'm playing the game, I'll go ahead and uh, I'll, I'll adapt. I'll get used to it. All right, so that was the screenshots that we have. Blah, 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 uh, blah, blah, blah. I'm pretty much done with this article. It's like pretty much telling you what you should and need to know. <clears throat> and now to Article 2. Dun, 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 dun. Go and go ahead and post this all in the uh, thingamabobs. He is cutting in and out sometimes. Oh, shit. I am? Uh-oh. Then I guess I got to get even... them. Oh, uh, uh, shit. I did not know that. Did I even change the channel? Oh, uh, uh, the title? Oh, God. la dee da dee da dee da dee da The title? Oh, God. La di da di da di da di da da di 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 da that way you can't see my weak chin, you know. Oh yeah, come on now, baby. This is so Borderlands Three ASMR. R R R R. All right, it's fine now. Good, good, good. All right. By the way, guys, um, I normally uh fucking hate Kotaku and IGN, and I I hate clicking on their things. So don't do the mistake that I did. If you have like a VPN or something that you can like uh, employ. You should go ahead and do that. Just deprive them of clicks. <laughs> it's too late for me, but it's not too late for you. Ooh. That deserves a sound clip. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But uh, two controversial subjects. Borderlands 3 is a six-month epic score exclusive. Uh, little. Borderlands 3 is a six-month Epic Store exclusive on PC. The, video, the PC video game Store Wars rages on. With newly announced Borderlands 3, the latest game to pick a side, Gearbox's upcoming looter shooter, out September 13th, will be a six-month Epic Store exclusive, the developers said today. From the press release, at launch on September 13th, Borderlands 3 will be available for PC exclusively through the Epic Game Store. Borderlands 3 will be available on additional PC digital storefronts on April 2020. It'll also be out for PS4 and Xbox One. For nearly a decade, Valve's Steam storefront was the go-to location for all things PC gaming, but the company behind Fortnite is trying to change that. In recent months, a number of high-profile video games have moved exclusively to Epic Store, like The Division 2 and Metro Exodus. Perhaps it's because Epic only takes a 12% cut of revenue, as opposed to Valve's 30%. Uh, or perhaps it's because another slick financial deals. No, it, it, it's not actually. It's actually quite, uh, it, it's a very good idea. A lot of the games that use the Unreal Tournament, the Unreal Engine uh, that, Epic's, uh, that Epic has created, they have to give them a slice of the pie, right? A slice of the profits. And when they're on Steam exclusively, they get the 30% from Valve, and plus they have to pay that uh, X amount of percentage to Epic. So it just makes uh, sense uh, 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 financially to switch to the Epic Game Store if they're using the Epic's le uh, Epic uh, 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 game uh, engine. But honestly, I kind of think that this is a bad idea for uh, Borderlands 3 to do because, unfortunately... The modding community is not uh, as strong, or as far as I know, non it's non-existent on uh, the uh, uh, Epic's Game Store. But on Twitch, there's a ton of free mods that you can uh, choose from to make the game a whole lot more fun. Uh, but so far, I'm not completely uh, sure if Epic Games can uh, provide the kind of... Uh, uh, I guess uh, longevity and creativity and variety that uh, uh, that Steam can provide. So, uh, Kurai, what do you think of this news? Well, 
how about this news? I honestly do not have a clue. All I know is that is that right? September thirteenth. Is that right? Yeah, that's what the article the right says. Release. I swear the trailer said otherwise. Or maybe it maybe it didn't. Maybe I don't know. Uh but I don't I don't know about the whole article thing. For all I know, I have no information. I have, don't really have much an opinion of what I can say about all this. Mm-hmm. All I can say is just well, I kn- let them say what they need to say. <laughs> well, per you know, like a, a you know how I feel about some of these uh, uh, some of these uh, people bitching about uh, there being multiple uh, uh, multiple oh, uh, launchers. Uh, launchers to go through, oh, yeah. and as opposed to just one. Uh, personally, I don't think that it's a bad idea for most games, but I, I think for games like Borderlands 3, it might uh, behoove them to stick to the, the platform that's made them the most money and got them the most exposure. I think financially, this is a really good decision for uh, Borderlands 3 for a Gearbox, but at the same time, I'm I'm a little hesitant to put my, give it my full backing like I have and would other games just because that the scene, quote unquote, is on Steam. Uh, the mod scenes on Steam. It's pretty much like one of the only one of the few places on the internet <clears throat> that really does support mod uh, 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 mod creations for pretty much every single game out there. And I know I'm probably wrong on that, but let's just don't bust my balls too hard on it. Let's just say most games on there and just be done with it. Don't fact check me. I I know what you're doing, internet. Okay, calm the fuck down. We don't need to turn this to a hashtag Mo Exposed uh, uh, freaking video, okay? Okay, thank you. But yeah, but but that's my that's my fifis uh, about that specifically. In fact, Screen Rant seems to have another uh, take on it. Borderlands Three Epic Game Store exclusivity has gamers pretty mad. <laughs> God. This article we do sell like newscasters. <laughs> this one's well, you know, I'm always trying to, uh, I'm trying to improve my newscaster voice. Oh yeah, so me 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 me. <clears throat> Borderlands Three is the latest game to become a target of sub, sub of a subsection of the gaming community thanks to its X scores. Uh, Borderlands Three is the latest game to become a target of a subsection of the internet uh, of the gaming community thanks to its Epic Game Store's exclusivity. I, I I hate that sentence immediately right there because it uses language that really just diminishes the voice of the people who are just simply disagreeing. I see this all the time in other random media outlets uh, on other multiple random media. Uh, uh, news bits and news stories not even related to gaming but if you're a uh, tinfoil hat fucking artard like i am uh you'll pretty much you'll see the same thing i'm talking about but anyway blah 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 a number of steam loyalists god damn a number of are we looking oh oh my bad my bad Uh, i i I did the herpeter there we go. The herpeter. Do 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 the herpeter. Derp do 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 do. Do herpeter. Thank God there's going to be editing for this video. You know it's live on Twitch, so everyone gets to hear me stumble over my fatty tongue. But you know, uh, a number of Steam loyalists have been review bombing, criticizing, and negatively discussing games that have chosen to opt out in opt into Epic Game Store's timed exclusivity deals. Ugh. I'm is already. This is legit. This is legit. Like this is really just. No, like... I mean, is this legit? Like this website is legit. Yeah, ScreenRantRant.com is a legit website, and it's also a legit uh, fucking YouTube channel. You know this? Fuck this article. It can eat a bag of dicks. Like I'm... Prince Harry once Fortnite banned in UK. <laughs> oh God, where is that? I I, I saw that <laughs> Look earlier. At my screen. Oh dear God. Where do you? Where, where is it? It's right there. It's just right there. Prince Harry wants Fortnite banned in the UK. Oh my right, God! You. Okay, okay, okay. I, I gotta get this again. Okay, we'll cover that article because this is fucking. <laughs> this is cancer. Okay. Oh shit! 
Prince Harry wants Fort. You know what? This is a British story. I think you should do this one. <laughs> okay, let's go read all right, this. All right, all right, all right, I, I got to hear this. <laughs> all right, then. <clears throat> Prince Harry claims it would be a great benefit to ban Fortnite entirely. Epic Games Crown Jewel has certainly done well for the company, help helping to bring in a jaw-dropping $3 billion for the company in 2018 alone. <laughs> this succeed hasn't been without setbacks, though, as sports league ha- leagues have begun banning Fortnite outright in order to keep its players focused on their jibs. It's been an odd time in the industry, to be sure, but it's not all bad. I don't know why the government, ha- anyone in any government ever, even needs to say anything. Shut the fuck oh. up, dude. All right, like corporations, you know, like deal with like their employees. Oh, God. Prince Harry, you fucking fail. You have, Something tells you have me failed this, this city. Is not legit at no, all. I, this These is new, probably this legit. Cabbie. This is this cabbie This legit. is ridiculous enough to be legit. All right. <laughs> anyway, Epic Games is gearing up for its highly anticipated Fortnite World Cup qualifiers as competitive players prepare to duke it out in a bid to lay claim to a piece of the 100 million prize pot. Jesus Christ, why are we playing Apex Legends? Oh. <laughs> Apex Legends doesn't have a 100 million dollar pot. I mean, 100 million, I mean, what, I need some pot. Hold on a sec. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> You're right though, Andy. All right, this, alongside other updates for the title, has kept the community buzzing and coming back, but even the excitement within the fan base has been called into question by others. Although, for the first time ever, Fortnite has now been called out by a member of the UK's royal family. Oh. Okay. According to the Daily Express, Prince Harry thinks that the best solution to Fortnite's popularity would be to ban it entirely. No, this can't be real. Uh, let's see. Okay. According to the Daily Express is... Uh, we use cookies. Yes, except go away. <laughs> this can't be real, man. Come on. All right. Oh, hold. this doesn't make sense. Like, why would you ban something to make it more popular? Like, that's that's like saying, like, you know, just well, that's like the weed business, basically. Oh yeah. That's like cannabis situation, like you know, just. Ugh. But anyways, the Duke of um. No. Yeah, no, no, that's right. The Duke of Sussex. Are you trying to say success or Sussex? I think it's Sussex. Recently visited a a YMCA in West London to speak about the impact of mental health when the... What? Okay. Ultimately, labeling games and social media as more dangerous than drugs and alcohol, as Prince Harry puts it. And here's what he has to say, which I seriously don't believe this can be true. Fortnite shouldn't be allowed. It's created to addict, an addiction to keep you in front of a computer for as long as possible. It's so irresponsible. Parents have got their hands up. Ah. I want to finish that sentence, huh? They don't know what to do about it. It's like waiting for the damage to be done. Isn't that what we do anyways? Don't we just wait for the damage to be done? Like, you know, isn't like, that's the one thing I've learned. Like, oh, there's more. Oh, oh Well, for more. crying out loud, <laughs> everyone else doesn't care about world hunger, poverty, or, or decent internet speeds. Like, all of a sudden, like, this is low-hanging fruit. This is something that these people. This is something for the idiot fucking masses to to glob on, and but to not have to do a whole lot. Uh, in you know what I mean? This is like it's like Occupy Wall Street slacktivism, except for like fucking parents. Oh okay. God, people don't make sense sometimes. You right handy people don't make sense. They like, fucking they really don't. Want- it's like one thing, they get something they want, and then as soon as they want it, they want the other thing back. And it's like, make your fucking mind up, guys. Like, come on. All right. To Prince Harry's credit, video game addiction has emerged as an increasingly more common issue in recent years. And Fortnite has been blamed a number of times for creating the atmosphere that pulls gamers into that extreme. 
That's not to say he's right for assuming Fortnite is the problem, because that would be impossible to lay at the feet of any other, any one game in particular. I Instead, mean... it's a sim. Oh wait, go on. No, no, no. Go, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Instead, it's a symptom of a bigger issue. So Prince Harry's comments ultimately come off as something easy to say rather than something with much depth that can be acted upon in any realistic fashion. Yeah. So we're blaming video games again, huh? Yes, we're, we're, we're blaming video games again. You know, it's 20 fucking 19. I think by now you should realize it's not video games that cause flipping violence. It's war that cause violence. Well, war, right. famine, disease, death, boredom, uh, fucking disparity. You know, uh, uh, you know, just always waking up and seeing like nothing but a black hole, so to speak. You know, never even really seeing like the light at the end of the tunnel. You know, maybe it's just social pressure and not fucking video games. You know, it, it blows my mind, man. It blows my fucking mind. Video games are meant to keep us out of, like, the sort of, like, what's going on with the real world kind of shit. It's meant to drown us in to, you know, our own imaginations or a sort of thing that has been created as imagination by another. And we get to explore that imagination and just, you know, embrace it. You know, you just get your controller, play your game, you know, and just, you know, sometimes you can get really into it. Sometimes it can be a bit addicting. Well, it doesn't mean it's a bad thing. Like, you know, no, just, it's it, it's not because it's it, a form of creativity and it's a form of imagination. It, it's these are the same people that bitch about people like us uh, uh, not having jobs, so we get a job. Then it's they up the goalposts a little more. Well, you don't pay uh, uh, more in taxes than I do. Blah blah blah. One up, one up, one up, one up, and that seems to be the only thing that uh, that really just they they these people do. It's always something. There's it's never going to be enough. That it, it's never going to uh, go away. Uh, you can never apologize enough. You can never conform enough for these types. It's always there's always someone to blame, and uh, tried and true the video game boogeyman. Uh, has become for these people that they'll they'll never stop blaming games for their perceived uh, uh, villainy or their uh, I guess cul for their culpability or, or in uh, uh, in today's quote unquote violent society. Oh well, yeah, and exactly what Andy says: trying to escape reality sometimes as well. That's one of the things why we want to do it. And to say, and to to respond to what you said there about um, about those people. You know, at this point, you know, if they don't, if they can't exactly um, accept your apology or whatever, or have to always make things a competition, then they are not worth having in your life, period. That's the re that's like basically the reason why the world is what it is today. And that's why people always go with the situation where the more that they have and the less that others have, they're basically winning. And that's the kind of mentality that people have nowadays. Not saying everyone, yeah, but most like most situ most people, most population. And well, yeah, th it there's drives a... me mad. Like, why can't we all just win? Yeah, I mean, there's a there's a fuck you, I'm winning too bad if you're not uh, mentality that's been sweeping all of the first world nations, and we're going to have to be humbled in a way. Like, the only way that can really happen is if. Uh, Everyone got taken down a peg or two collectively. Unfortunately, we all have to sort of uh, eat a big shit sandwich when that happens. But unfortunately, until people are humbled, uh, they're not really going to uh, appreciate what they have uh, right in front of them. But anyway, uh, I figure that, you know, we've ranted enough about this. Do you even want to re read any more of this cringe fest? There is one little bit, not that. All right, go ahead. So I may as well finish the whole thing. Already. All right. So controversy like this only pro propels the game back into the limelight, as was seen when Epic Games was sued for featuring popular dances in Fortnite from across the popular culture landscape. Which was fucking These dumb. And all of them got dumb. and all of them got dropped. All of them got dropped. Carlton Carlton stopped. You know, all of them did. Sorry about that. I talked over you. Oh no, it's all good. Um. Yeah, these losses were eventually dropped. Yep, like you said. But they did create several headlines across a number of significant publications as multiple people and celebrities like the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air's <laughs> Carlton, 
filed legal grievances against Fortnite and its publisher. You know what the funny thing is? The Carlton dance isn't even the, his original dance. It's uh, it's uh, some old swing dance that pe- that time forgot, but he didn't. So he used it in Fresh Prince of Bel Air, and you know, unfortunately, it's been he's been tagged into that, and that that's yeah. fine. I'm not ragging on the guy for that, but for crying out loud, stop trying to sue like uh. What's his name? Who was in uh, Game of Thrones? E- Edward Sheridan, uh, Ed Sheridan, or Sheridan, or whatever the fuck his name is. Ed Sheridan. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. He's trying to sue these people over notes that they played in their song, and they're saying that those notes are, were his because they're in his song. And if I haven't really heard anything about the case, but. Uh, if he wins that case, that can have devastating ramifications across everything. Because if you can copyright notes, that means you can take down other people who have uh, similar music or similar content. Uh, remember the uh, ID software? I think they uh, tried to sue uh, another uh, company for you making a first-person shooter game because they were, quote-unquote, the first ones to popularize it. Even though I think they were trying to sue Quake or something like that. No, it wasn't Quake because they're both no, ID software, they were, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. People. All right. Well, probably, yeah, that, that um, was that was another stupid, frivolous lawsuit. It might have been. It, they could have. My potential answer could be serious, Sam. But for, that's that's all I can think of. Um, but because they're a different company, but well, I don't know. There's there's many. There's many first-person shooters out there. You've got James Bond, Nightfire, and Agent Under Fire. You've got, like, Serious Sam. Like you said, we've got Quake, but we'll count that. Um, Wolfenstein. Yeah. All the same people. Um, Medal of Honor. Uh, Call of Duty. Yeah, you, yeah you, you can't fucking sue people over concepts, man. That's that's what... Uh... Uh, that's what a uh, um, uh, freaking blue hole with uh, uh, PUBG found out the hard way. They try and they tried some bullshit, and do, they tried to get their court case heard in Korea, South Korea because they have terrible uh, uh, fucking copyright laws. Like if you go down to their their little marketplaces, they have all sorts of uh, stuff that's copyrighted material, like. There was uh, pictures of the Mickey Mouse uh, logo on a storefront. Uh, people selling a copy, uh, p- uh, pirated DVDs and stuff. All sorts of junk, you know? And they, they thought that they can uh, pull a fucking slick move and uh, sue them for it. And unfortunately, they settled out of court. But uh, apparently, that was considered a draw, quote-unquote, no one really won, but I'm, I'm kind of hanging my hat on the Fortnite Epic Games one that round. And Blue Hole knew damn well they couldn't get uh, get past uh, anything else with that. Oh, man. But anyway, uh, I pretty that's, much... That's pretty much it for the article. That's pretty much it with the article. Uh, all, that's everything. Let's go ahead and just... Uh, Watch the freaking uh, trailer. Let's go ahead and watch the trailer one more time. Enjoy it. Oh, there is wait, one wait. more. There is one more we thing all, I have. Wait, did we watch it? No, we haven't watched it yet. I was going to say, like, you said watched it one more time. I was like, wait, what? We oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll be editing this part out. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Fuck, my you, bad. You know what? I Video have... games can help sometimes. Yeah, you're right, though, Handy. It can help sometimes, depending on what game it is. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's your stress release. You know, it's the thing that you look forward to after you get off your shitty job. Or, you know, you get done babysitting. Uh, all right, one more article I forgot from Tom's Guide. We'll go ahead and put this into the revel- uh, relevant chats here. Kaboom and kaboom. Oh. There you go. That wasn't... Uh... Full link. Give me a moment too. That's weird. Yeah, I don't know why it does that, but we'll uh, we gotta sort out. Oh, the right to no. Nope. Uh, yeah, I thought I did yeah, it right. It's it's, it's yeah, it's whatevs. Oh, alrighty. All right. So one more article. This is this is the good one. This will. Uh, I don't think this will make us feel fucking stupid. 
Alright, Borderlands 3, release date, characters, trailer, gameplay, and more. More, more. Alright. The hybrid formula per uh, the hybrid formula of the first person shooter and action RPG style looting and leveling remains unique even after ten years after the game's first game in the series. Here's everything we know so far about Borderlands 3, from its release date and trailer to gameplay changes to expect. Borderlands 3 is going to be released at September 13, 2019. So mark your calendars, blah, 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 blah. The game will be available on Xbox One, PS4, and the PC. Blah, 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 blah. And let's see, there's the uh, uh, Standard Edition, Deluxe Edition, Collector's Edition. And uh, I think there's a Diamond Chest Edition, too. That's fucking super expensive. All right. Oh, if you really want to push the boat out, uh, the Diamond Loot Chest Collector's Edition, 249 Daru, comes with everything we've mentioned so far, plus a ship model, 10 figure character rings, 5 art lithographs, 4 key chains, a cloth map, and a steel bookcase for the game, and a partridge and a pear tree. All the contained in a replica of an in-game container. Oh god, I want that. I want so like one of those. We- so it's like one of those. Um, I want that so box. bad. Yes. That weapon box yes. Like yes. That, uh, I don't care like... about all the stuff. Well, I-, I want the figurines, but uh, <laughs> uh, but I want that. I might be that might. You know what? I'm going to save up for that and get that. All right. <laughs> if you haven't seen it already, we have a wide but brief glimpse at what kind of things we'll get to see once we start playing Borderlands Three. Have yourself a, here a look at the reveal trailer. Trailer, trailer. I already got one of those. What good thanks. All right. And a briefer but still interesting announcement trailer. Trailer, trailer. Well, we well, don't we'll really. Take that one with us then. We don't, we're pretty much don't really need to see that one. We don't have much information yet about the gameplay. Gearbox is saving that for an event on May 1st. However, from the trailer, we can see we have a new gang of four heroes with new and familiar faces taking on the archetypes from the previous games. Oh, and and that would be these four right here. We got the robot. We have a chick. And we have presumably another chick, and a dude, an old man guy. I don't know what old he does. Old man old guy. Old man guy. Old man guy. The same story with the vehicles. Blah 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 blah. Yeah, you know what? We're just gonna go ahead and uh, yeah. Blah blah blah. It's the same shit that we've already known about Borderlands Three. We do you really want to repeat that? No, fuck no, please, God, get on and stop this video already. Okay, all right, calm down, calm down. Well, we're going to go ahead and uh, uh, we're going to watch the trailer and all that, but I'm going to go ahead and end this video here because obviously I don't want to get, like, flagged for stealing uh, Gearbox's content. <clears throat> gotcha. All right, so, Kurai, uh, any final thoughts of Borderlands 3? What are you hyped about? What do you think they're doing correctly from all the articles we read? Uh, let's just pretend that we didn't hear a thing about Prince fucking Harry and his stupidity. Uh, go ahead and uh, give us your final thoughts. Well, all I can say is, well, I guess it was true that September 13th that is coming out. But other than that, um, from the way how the concept arts and everything else looks, it looks like you know quite one of those interesting games that I would be looking forward to playing. Because, you know what, just... The fact, and the fact that they've made the loot system change, I mean, it takes away the whole PvP sort of situation where they could wager uh, for what weapon they, they take, but it also fixes the problem as well. So that's that's also a good thing. Yeah. Um, but other than that, that's, that's all I can say right now at the moment. The thing I'm definitely looking forward to is watching this trailer. <laughs> oh, definitely, definitely, definitely. Um... The thing that I like the most about that is that I, I really like the idea that they're refining the loot system. And uh, I, I like the exclusive loot for exclusive characters thing. Because uh, it, it is a hassle. It, it sucks to get ninja'd. And it, it sucks to not be able to, to have to argue with 12-year-olds over guns. So I, I would rather have my own shit and not have to share anything. And yeah. uh, from what I've seen of the trailer and everything else, uh, everything looks very uh, Borderlandsy, And I love the series so far, and I'm looking forward to playing it. I really don't have anything else really to add to the conversation other than it looks fucking great. <laughs> 